Uh, maybe on your comments, mm-hmm. I'm sure there are a lot of girls like, oh, you have a nice body. Do girls like tell you yes. like that a, a lot? A lot. A lot. Like, a- what do I do to get like you know, a body yes. like yours and such things? Yes. So do you feel the pressure of like you have to maintain like now your body? It's like, hey, not my body by the way. Everyone keeps complimenting. Now if I lose how it looks, because that's also like pressure with a lot of young girls. You'll see that's why. Yes. Either people are going into like extreme diets, I'm a, what do you call it? This these belts are they what are they called? Tummy trimmers. Yeah, are they tummy trimmers? Yeah. What are they called? Waist some waist trainers. Waist, waist trainers, trainers yeah. slimming tea. That's why and even not just that, now even like surgeries and stuff. Mm-hmm. Or even like eating the chicken feed so that your ass can be in any no, it can pop out. It can pop. So, you know, I mean, is that pressure for you? You feel like you have to maintain, like, your physique? Mm. Has it ever crossed your mind? It's like, hey, if I don't have this body guy, eh? I know, I know I have a really nice body, and I always try to maintain it. Mm. I just maintain it. One thing about me, I'm very open to growth. So I really don't like to alter with how my body wants to grow. Mm. So if 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 I, a little tummy will be popping out, let it pop out. But one thing I know is that I'll try to maintain mm. my body. Maybe if it's my diet, if it's something that I'm eating and it's not good for my body, I'll put it aside. What, so what kind of foods do you eat? I'm asking for those people who want like a nice body because now you have to go on her TikTok and actually see like. Because even fa- fashion-wise, I'm guessing, like, cloth- clothing blends even with, like, how yeah. your body in is. At times, it's unfortunate, but not everybody can rock certain outfits and make them look how someone with, like, a, mm-hmm. a kind of, like, that physique would make it look like. So how would, is it, what kind of food do you eat? Do you exercise? Mm. Ama, this is just, like, uh, jeans. I mean, we want to know the secret because people ask you in the comments, I'm sure, so... Yeah. Tell them the secret. And if you're eating those chicken feeds, nani ni pia, won't be any gani, so that they don't buy the wrong ones. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, me, I just eat. Uh-huh. I, I don't want to lie. Me, I just, I just eat. I don't want to lie that I go to the gym 24 uh-huh. 7 or I am at the gym like I am at Yeno yeah, yeah. trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like see, those two men. She has a really nice body, really, yeah, yeah. you know. But she does like a lot of like she weights. Does, she does like a lot. A lot. A she lot. Ha- yeah, she goes to the gym, but I'm like, hey. I follow her on TikTok and yeah. I see how she works out and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> it can't be me uh-huh. because me personally, my body, uh-huh. I was really thin growing uh-huh. up. Uh-huh. I, was, I was like thin, thin, uh-huh. thin very, very, very thin. Mm-hmm. And I can remember when I was uh, I was maturing, I started realizing, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> hey, I'm growing. <laughs> it's like, hey, me easy, <laughs> I'm growing. So what I do is just I try to maintain a healthy, balanced diet. Mm-hmm. So, and I what's really what is the game changer is mm-hmm. I I fast. You For do. example, yes. Hmm. Like not fasting at Isasa, they are praying. And no, but you skip some meals? I some skip some meals. Hmm. For example, if I have seen that I've eaten a lot of fat, mm-hmm. this day, I'll go, your fat ndo itanipe anguvu ni malize siku. I won't hmm. eat fat for like three days again. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's your what's your bad behavior in food? Like what what's the like food Junkie. like you can't just like resist? You're like eh. junking. Yeah, junking. Pit, pizza or my chicken? What? Zote. Tush, eh. Tura. Anything and <laughs> oh anything to snacks even eh, eh. from roadside snacks. Yeah, roadside uh-huh. to hotel. Like I can't resist junk food. Mm. Yeah, so that's a. Uh, that's why I'm telling you, if I eat a lot of junk this day, I'll go for a long time without eating it, or yeah. I'll go for a long period without eating. Had this suddenly scared, what? I can't walk. No. That's why I was asking her, like, where's the uh, chep measure? Cause, like, you know, for people who I know, like, a model, physique, and any, any, any waste measurements, just take it now. 
And then, you know, the next time we're doing a follow-up episode, it's like, hey, by the way, Ambu, let's check uh, how you've been doing and ni 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 ni. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I, I guess also being young mm-hmm. and having high metabolism is like also something that mm-hmm. will favor you if you're young. But I guess once you get to like, I think 20, 27, 28, you can't eat the way you want. Yes, you can't eat the way you, you want. You can't eat the way you want. So at least I can tell you enjoy for now. Yeah, and enjoy. I've really enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, like I've really, you've really enjoyed. You've made sure like you utilize it to the max. Yes. Oh, okay, that's so nice. So what I can just tell people is mm-hmm. try to maintain your body. If Because for personally, I don't want to tell somebody or I don't want to be biased or say, uh, we we end a gym. Because, you know, people out here suffer with, from self-esteem issues. Mm, mm. And I don't really want to determine how a woman's body should be like. If you feel like you want, you, you're okay with going to the gym and finding that perfect body, it's okay. Mm-hmm. And if also you feel like you want to, to wear your waist, waist, waist trainers, trainers yeah. it's okay. Because, man, I've also been in that space where I didn't even like myself. Really? Yeah. What didn't you like about yourself? I just didn't like myself. We're talking about in high Physique. school Physique. or now? Even now, it's a journey. I'm still trying. Even now? Not now that I don't like myself. Like Okay, slow. like, yeah, there's some things maybe you're still, like, maybe, trying yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Things that you can share or no, those ones you decide to keep for yourself. Okay, when I was growing up, I didn't like how I looked because I used to be mocked a lot. Hey. Yes, I was very thin, unfortunately. Hey, those people now, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now? <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. You can but, imagine. Uh-huh. And I, I, I feel like that kind of mockery mm. really, it shapes how you grow. It does. It, it, does. Really, it, it really has a great pattern on how you will turn out. You grow me. thick skin. Now it's like, even if somebody's telling you something, just don't take it seriously. And just don't take it seriously. But at mm-hmm. that time, we could have felt like it's the end of the world. Because mm-hmm. I remember I was walking and people are calling me uh, toothpick. I Were you skinny, skinny? <laughs> I was so skinny. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you see me now, yeah. the people that know me know me. If you see me now, mm-hmm. and way back, mm-hmm. I think those are two different people. Mm-hmm. Because I've really worked Hard, like extremely hard on mm. how I look, mm. on how you see me. Utaniona, like the first impression. Yeah. I've really worked hard on that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because then yeah, now you just like, mm-hmm. the first thing's like, mm-hmm. once I, of course, yes, I've talked to her, but she's standing like, you know, appearance, height, Kwanza, she's also like tall. She's not at this to, to Nairobi height. No, Joe, to Tudogo, Tudogo. This kissy Rani for fighting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Those two heights. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, I'm joking anyway. Mm-hmm. But also, like, I think that's a good thing to... And even, like, on TikTok, I've seen guys post those two. Like, this is common with girls. Mm-hmm. They do, like, the video of where they were before when people were laughing at them and then how they look standing now. Have you done those I, videos? I cannot do that. Unacceptable, eh? If I've reached that... <laughs> I know some people have receipts. Uh-huh, but you can't. Mm-mm. I know some people have receipts of a few photos here and there of yeah. how I used to look. Mm-hmm. But I... Okay. okay yeah. You know, we'll give her time. You know. I okay, can, get confidence here. Like putting that together, we'll be waiting yeah. to see that. When I feel like... Unajua, that's why I'm telling you it's growth. Sijafika mm. hapo. Because it's something that I've really struggled with. Loving or liking myself. But it feels good now, right? Yeah, it's, I feel like I'm in a better place now, mm-hmm. but I'm still trying to reach where I want to be. You okay. understand? Let's give it. Let's give it time. I thought I was okay till TikTok told me I'm not okay. What do you mean? But I decided not to listen to such like people's comments or what? Yes, I... there was uh, there's this video of mine that mm. b- that blew up, uh-huh. and uh, it had like a million views. A mil. Yes, I'm what? Uh-huh. And I was just innocently dancing, you know, at that time. Mm-hmm. I, when I was in college, I was just in my house. And Having I don't fun. have a lot of friends. So what gives me comfort? It's TikTok. Yeah. 
let me take out the camera and make some videos. Mm-hmm. Let me keep myself busy instead of being depressed or yeah, just thinking being funny too things much. Or yeah, thinking too much. So I bought another dress mm-hmm. and I was like, this really looks nice, mm-hmm. and I put it on. And I can remember it was uh, an ethic ethic group, you know the ethic. Yes, so. yes. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, dancing to it. Mm-hmm. So when I was dancing, it was I was just dancing innocently, like I didn't even. It's innocently. What is you didn't I, even what? I I didn't even think much of it. I was uh-huh. like me, I am dancing. Mm-hmm. So the video blew up. Mm-hmm. So from the comments, people were really. People were really bothered with my looks. I didn't know I was... Uh, How? Just negative comments. Yeah. Work on your upper body, work on your chest. There was somebody who told me, uh, what did that guy say? <laughs> uh, he, he said, you're not a man in rashes. People, by the way, you know, you know that's the problem with TikTok. People are so silly, by the way. People are so mean yeah, yeah and i can remember i was i was looking at myself and why you feeling bad about that for a moment you'll feel bad because you didn't expect that after a million criticism. views and you choose people are loving the video and any but at times i'm always wondering like how comes those negative remarks mm. are the ones that you'll pay attention to because i'm sure there are other like hundreds of other like positive ninis okay it was my first time so i didn't know not ah. i don't even care <laughs> I don't no, you it have was a my very, first you have time. a very beautiful body. Thank you. Uh, so that you just know like that's like a, a standard for like you've seen fashion over models. Mhm. That's it Sasa. And you know them they've done surgery surgery in you you just yeah. Natural. All natural, eh? No, don't let them put you down. Come on, eh? Never. Yeah. So yeah, eh? you're saying mm. what are you saying? No, now you're confident with yeah. like you know yeah. that whole thing. It was my first time interacting with TikTok mm-hmm. and my video kind of blew up mm-hmm. on my very I was still naive to TikTok I didn't know how to maneuver around it and I just posted the video yeah. and people are like coming for me because of something that I can't really rectify unless I go under a knife and Wait I has that like, ever has that ever in it cuz now I remember a friend who's always like no I need to get my boobs done but is that something that's ever even gotten to like because you you look good but mm-hmm. to some point has it ever like got in your head you like like hey sadly yes really mm. i <laughs> hey. unfortunately no me i think you're just perfect by the yeah i think i think i'm okay like you, you have know, to understand the blessings that you have right you have to nini your time people were so like I'm posting a video, I can't even rest, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't even rest. <laughs> okay, okay, but you know it's so sad because now you have extremes. Because now you'd have somebody else who's like, maybe now the big bust, and mm-hmm. now people are on their case, on their case, on their case. So you can't make people happy. You have to make sure you're happy first. Yes. If you're happy, trust me, just embrace what you have going on. You're good. Yeah. You're good, and that's what makes you different. Mm-hmm. That's what makes you different. I don't but feel that pressure. You're good. I I'm not even pressured right now. Mm-hmm. I at that time I can admit I was I was thinking that maybe I have a I have a really big problem because people can can comment. Mm-hmm. And this is how like anyway I am the problem. Were you responding to the comments or no? I was. You are. Mm-hmm. That's a problem now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Because now you, like, you have to understand you're arguing with someone who has nothing to lose. Look on there. Like, the more she replies, the more I'll try and piss her off. So you can't just fall victim into that. You know, at that time, you don't even know what to do. By yeah. the way, you go f- to a dark corner. Mm-hmm. You, don't even, you don't even know what to say, what to think. You're just feeling sad and you're like, I haven't done anything wrong to this person. Why is and that's the dark she side of TikTok. Sh- shaming me. I think yesterday you posted, <laughs> yesterday you posted, you know, there was one person, I was like, who, who thinks like this at this time of the night? Let me just see if I can open it. Because, you know, you're seeing like good comments, good comments, and then yeah. one person out of nowhere, I'm just like, wow. But I was like, you know what? I'm not responding to this because like, this is just like the most negative thing I've seen today. 
Ah, uh, let me see if I can find it. Ah, uh, no, no, no. If I find it, that would be so good to see. Uh, what was the name of this? Just this person was just like they are evil by the way. That's the only way I can describe them. Ah, uh, no. So you help me find that comment by the way. So you know that person. You don't even see the name. You can't access their profile. Yeah. So I was just look, you know what? You're just insulting me here by just because you're feeling bad. It's all good. Maybe they have pleasure in bullying. Of course. Once especially someone who's hiding. But TikTok, that's the craziest part. Someone will be insulting you. You can see their pictures and everything. Yeah. Like they don't care. They don't okay, care. Like, mm, what? How? But I guess it's if if you put your things out there, be just be ready for criticism. Then. Yeah. And yeah. you can't make everyone happy because just mm-hmm. people out there will always find something negative to say. They always find There's something. There's something. They look for eyebrows. One will say your ears. <laughs> Someone will just say, like, my ears. How did you even see my <laughs> ears? Because... They're like, when was the last time I paid attention to my, to my ears, I, yeah, yeah, someone is just like, easy mask, is it like, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> but that's just what you should actually just be prepped for. But I think it's also like a very good platform to like uh, grow. just grow as a person because now you're interacting with a lot of people. They've mm-hmm. said getting like a million hits like in a video, that's not easy to do. So I think even if you get like such high numbers with certain videos, mm-hmm. I mean you ca- you can even push or direct something different that you want on your platform, which I think that's very powerful. And you can do that with your personal brand the way you're saying. Yeah. So you know we we we're, we're just hoping that in the next two to three years, if we you know we're we're having some tea somewhere and we're discussing about things like Nakumbuka, like you know, uh, yeah, time, yeah, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to. Somewhere in okay. Dubai? Yeah. Okay. okay. Around 6 p.m. maybe? <laughs> uh, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Now, those will be the working hours now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I mean, I, I really appreciate you coming to just the podcast and sharing because I know I would, because trust me, I can talk for hours. Yeah. But I would want to do like a part two with you if... This is something that has been a good experience for you. Yes, it has. For me right now. Have you done a podcast before? I have never. How's this experience now? Because we're setting standards (laughs) here by the way. It's nice. Really? It's nice, Mm -hmm. but uh, I like it. I like it. I can say much. Yeah. So so I think, do you want to do another one before the year ends or next year? Obviously, That's just up to you. Before the year ends, to before see progress, end. what I've been up to, and you can do like a what I've achieved, a sp- a, like a Christmas kind of thing, because I'm getting like props and something. You can talk about holidays mm-hmm. and anything that you have going on from there on onwards. Yes, amen. And New Year's resolution. Oh, by the way, now in the podcast we talk about mm-hmm. health, wealth, love, and happiness. Yes, we haven't talked about friendships yet, though. We haven't talked about friendships. 